Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Grunt.js. We're going to explain a little bit about what it is and why we want it, and then we're going to teach you how to install it. So if you head over to Grunt.js.com, you can see Grunt.js, they're calling it a, a JavaScript task runner. And when you think about all the things that we do as front-end developers around build time or just throughout our, the development life cycle, um, there's really a lot of little tasks we have to do, and so Grunt is kind of the place where um, we propose to kind of wrap all those different tasks into one API so that um, we don't have to kick off you know, a bunch of different scripts. We can just access all of those different tasks through Grunt. And um, so it's, it's super powerful when you, you know, you might be wondering what are some of those tasks. So we need to run our, 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 you know, our, our JavaScript unit tests all the time. Maybe every time we make a, a change to our file, maybe when we're checking our code in, we definitely want to do it when we build. Um, we need to minify our, our JavaScript. We need to minify our CSS and our HTML and compress our images. Uh, we need to, uh, uh, you know, a myriad of other things that, uh, that we need to do as tasks Anytime you make a, a change to a less or a SAS or a stylus file, we, we would want that to be immediately processed into CSS so that it can uh, show up on our page. And maybe we want a task that anytime we save a JavaScript file or, or recompile a SAS file or a, a pre-compiled, you know, a pre-processed CSS file, Anytime that happens, we want it to reload the page over in our browser so that we can just sit in our IDA and make changes all day long. So there's really a lot of tasks that we do, and Grunt um, proposes to kind of wrap them all behind one, I, uh, one API. And one cool thing is that um, it's really easy to write plugins for. And uh, so you come over to the plugins, and there's over 400 plugins already written build tasks that the, the community and the grunt team have, you know, kind of put together for us. So um, all these ones that start with contrib, these are the ones that the, that the, uh, the grunt team has built for us. And um, the rest of them are all community built. So if we want some Angular plugins to assist us in, in building some Angular apps, those are there. If we need um, something for Backbone, we've got um, some Backbone utility plugins here. If uh, our, 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 our stack team lead, uh, Dave Geddes, he's built several, uh, five of them now, um, that are pretty powerful. We've got, uh, I built one that you can write in the new JavaScript and it will compile it down into an older JavaScript that all browsers could understand. So um, we're going to be committing and leveraging a lot of the uh, efforts of the community uh, through these grunt plugins and you know kind of using the benefit um, from you know a, a bunch of different places in, in our organization so that's what uh, grunt uh, is and, and so let's let's talk about how to get it installed so grunt is uh, based on node so you're gonna have to have node installed first and you're gonna have to have the node package manager installed anymore the nodes package manager installs with grunt or with Node, so you should be good to go just by installing Node. Um, uh, if any of you have experience with um, version a, a version of Grunt that's less than version 0 0.4, we're going to do another video explaining the difference between 4.0 and 3.0 and prior because there's some significant differences in the way Grunt is structured now in this brand new release of 4.0. We'll do another video explaining those um, so that you know, you're not left in the dark if you're either, you know, upgrading from 3.0 or maybe uh, you're just, that's all you know and now you want to learn 4.0. We'll explain to you um, the, the, four, the differences between the two in a different video so that you're good to go. But for now, let's just go ahead and we'll, uh, let's get it installed. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and change to my project directory. So um, in here... Uh, we don't ha we don't have anything. So if we check out the list, it's an empty directory. So um, if I check out Grunt, um, I'm gonna let's show everyone how to uninstall their old Grunt. So if I check if I say Grunt version, he's gonna say you got 3.0 and 3.0 installed globally, and 4.0 is not gonna install globally, and that's one of the main differences uh, that we'll talk about. So let's go ahead and uh, uninstall. Um, 
our global version of grunt so that we can start using the new version. <coughs> so we'll say npm un sorry, I said install. Let's say uninstall. npm uninstall dash g um, grunt. So this is going to go ahead and remove our global installation of grunt. The reason that they changed this is because on different projects, uh, maybe we have an older project and newer project, and they have different grunt dependencies that aren't compatible with different version, the different versions that they were built for. So on our, if we can only have one version of grunt on our machine, it kind of sticks us in, in a hole that we don't want to be in. So the new grunt 4.0 allows us to have multiple versions of grunt, one for each project, which is really powerful. It won't force us to upgrade all of our projects every time we upgrade um, grunt. So it, it allows us to have you know more versatility as we develop. So um, let's go ahead and get it installed. So there is one thing you do have to install globally, and that's this grunt command line runner. So let's go ahead and say um, npm install dash g, and that's a global flag. And we'll say uh, grunt dash cli, and this is just the command line runner. So it's going to go ahead and install that globally. And if I come in here now, and if I say grunt version, it's going to say the CLI is installed, but it, it doesn't actually reference any grunt library specifically. So now in my one dash install project, let's go ahead and install grunt. So we'll say npm install grunt. And since 0.4.0 is the latest build, that's the version that's going to, it's going to install for us. So let's go ahead and get that installed. So that's all installed. So now if I say um, grunt version, he says, yep, you've got the global uh, command line interface installed of version 1.6 and locally you've installed 4.0 so I can have 4.0 installed and let, like, let's say I want to go to an older project so we'll say old grunt project and in here let's go ahead and install 3.0 npm install grunt uh, 0.3.0 so it's going to go ahead and grab 0.3.0 install. So clear. So in old grunt, if I say grunt version, uh, it says, hey, you've got 3.0 installed. But if we go back to our, um, our project folder, and if I say grunt version, um, he's going to say you've got in here you've got 0.4.0 installed, so we can have both versions on in on one system, and we could have you know even in the future even more versions than that. Um, each project can have its own grunt version installed, which really allows us to have the versatility we need to um, configure these to run you know as they will. So that's um, that's how you get it installed. The next video we'll do is kind of a background, more of an explanation between some of the major differences between. 3.0 and 4.0 to kind of bring everyone up to speed. If you didn't, if you didn't know 3.0, you can go ahead and skip it. Just skip to the third video where we're going to talk about the grunt file, which is kind of equivalent to, um, you know, the make file or the rake file. Um, just you know, your your build file for other systems. The in grunt, it's called the grunt file. So our third video will talk about the grunt file, how you configure it to do your builds. It's it's wicked simple. And we'll just go over some of the steps so that everyone kind of has an idea about what it is. And again, if you guys have any questions, um, come down and talk to the stack team. Uh, hit us up on Twitter or email us, and, and we'll make an effort to, to answer any of your questions. Um, but other than that, come check us out in other videos. Thanks.